Hey there survivors, Parker here from White Earth Hall with some more Ark Survival Evolved for you today. So today's video is actually the sequel to How to Build an Allo Taming Trap. That's my episode number 7 of Explore the Ark. So it's today's video is all going to be about what to do when you come across an source that you really want, but it's in a large pack. I'm talking more than 3. I've seen packs out there that were around 12 before. Um, it's, it gets pretty crazy, so I'm going to talk about how to handle that, how to get the one you want, and how to do it safely. But before we get into all of that, I actually had a commenter on that video, uh, number 7, come up with a good, I, a good thought. So as you can tell, right above me is the one I built. I built this one. This is the one the tutorial is about. I think it looks nice. It's functional. It works. What he's saying is basically the dinosaur gateways are on the side, the long, the two right next to each other, the long side of this pen, or the stone fence foundations. It's a bit redundant. I knew I should either do, or he thought, until he corrected himself, that I should either do just the gateway and dinosaur gates, like so, or just the stone uh, doorways, like this. Now, all three of these are fine choices. Don't get me wrong. And Dog Owl, I know I'm kind of throwing you your bus by saying your YouTube name. Thank you for commenting. This is actually a really good point I wanted to make it. I thought I made this before, but apparently I missed it. Um, pretty much the reason why I built it the way I did is because if you build it with just dinosaur gates and dinosaur gateway doors, you don't have a way to shoot in. This is great for a dinosaur pen. Like if you want to do like a one dino garage you can but the only way you can get access to them is either open the gate and shoot in and risk losing the dinosaur running out and killing you and all your stuff or building a platform to get above this thing the structure to shoot down into it that would work just fine if you want to do that great i know that my build here is a little bit on the resource heavy side just a little bit um, I did that because I, I build things to make them not only functional, I go for quality, but aesthetics. I want it to look great. And yes, I know there's some faults here and there with this structure, but I think it looks cool. I think it's a cool looking structure and it works well. It works, as on, it works on Rexes, Carnos, Raptors, anything that can fit inside a dinosaur gateway and not get out of a stone doorway. So I think this works. Um, this structure works as well. It's literally the same exact thing I have, it just doesn't have the aesthetic flair to it. The reason why I don't like this structure when I build it, um, it's not, again, this is not something that you can't, shouldn't do. This is completely logical, it works. This works just as well as what I built. The reason why I decide not to go this route, beyond aesthetics, beyond the looks of it, is because I've had issues with dinosaurs glitching through walls before. Um, I know I used stone doorways here, and that's still a wall, but what I did is I went a step further. I made sure that there is extra things for it to get stuck on, hence the dinosaur gateway. I even put stone railings on the top of the, of the doorways, just for the sake of looks, but it's also one extra thing that the dinosaur could get hung up on. I mean, if you have like a raptor in here or like a dillo or whatever, chances are, yeah, they're going to glitch right through the stone doorway. That's just how they, that's how they work. Like, I mean, I've gone on official servers and seen raptors stuck in people's houses because they just glitched the doorway. But when it comes to a larger dinosaur, in my opinion, the more structures that prevent it from getting out, the better. The less likelihood it's going to slip away and glitch out of your cage and attack you. So. Again, all these choices, absolutely fine. They all have pros and cons. Uh, mine being that it's resource heavy. I mean, not only do you have to make six stone gateways, two reinforced doors, but you have 24 stone doorways you gotta make, and then on top of that, you have eight stone fence foundations and eight stone railings. So it's resource heavy. But it looks good and it lasts, I mean, it lasts just as long as any stone structure, but it looks good. In my opinion, of the three, that one, the one in the center, looks like it has more thought put into it and therefore is more aesthetically pleasing to me. Because it's not just one flat structure. It looks like, oh, they really went above and beyond and took their time on it. And that's what I'm all about. I want to provide quality and something that looks great. 
So, Dog Owl, thank you for your comment. I really appreciate it. I hope that you didn't take this as me throwing you underneath your bus. I just wanted to bring this attention to the public. You can build it whatever you guys want. Uh, the reason why I built it my way is because of quality and aesthetics. That's really it. Um, if you have different tutorials or ideas you want me to try, throw them in the comments of this video or any of the other videos. I'll read them. I read every comment I get. I even respond to the majority of them. Um, hell, I even like them all so you know I read them. But uh, yeah, if you have any ideas of things you want me to try to build and do a tutorial on or anything, down in the comments. That's for you guys. I'll definitely be checking that every chance I get. So now, without further ado, and not droning on, uh, let's get into the main source of this video. Let's talk about what to do if we come across a large pack of aloes and we want to tame one. So I'll see you guys over there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, we had, I spawned in a whole big slew of allosauruses. Let's figure out how we can tame them. First off, I don't know the levels, but let's just say we want... Let's pick the guy right below us, the black and the orange one. Come here, dude. I don't know what level you are, I know you're almost hurt. Actually, we may not go for you. It's because you're almost dead. So the idea is, when you come across a pack like this, you try to separate it off. If you can't, then, well, we have a couple ways where we can make it work. Alright, so we got him following me, which is a good start. A little bit scary start. Chances are you might lose a dinosaur. I have my guy on god mode or else I would have lost already. So as you can tell, I built a few things. So, we have him close to our pen. We want to choose one. Uh, we'll choose this alpha. If I can get out of here. Come on, let me out. So we've kind of lost our alpha. Oh, there it is. All right. So we gotta keep its attention long enough to try to separate away from the group, which is going to be very difficult because they're all there. So clearly this doesn't work very well. We can't separate this one allosaurus from its pack. We want to try, but it's it's difficult. We're struggling. It took me about 20 minutes to do it on my own server. Just had nothing else to do so it took me about 20 minutes it was difficult it was hard so let's say you can't separate it, but you're a little impatient we're gonna see if we can lure the one guy into our pen here so as you can see I built my normal pen but I built a landing platform just for the sake of trapping that one or two or more looks like we got maybe two and we got our alpha look at that so from here we're not only safe from the rest of our uh, from the rest of the aloes like we're not taking damage I'm not in god mode oh I just got hit all right let's take a look and see how far away we are see how scary that is look at that they're all right below us I would recommend maybe going one higher if I was to build this again yeah, I'd definitely probably go one pillar up. But the idea is we're safe. Ow. Okay, we're not that safe. Holy cow. So yeah, you can build a platform. It'll keep you safe enough where you could shoot these guys out. The idea is once you have the ones you want... Oh, gosh. No! Okay. Let's try this again. Let's fly this up. So the idea is once you have the one or ones trapped that you want, you go back on your flyer and you leave the other ones away. This is this is just basically a place for you to land to keep you safe from the rest of the aloes. Like now I'm able to lead stuff away. Yeah, you guys can munch on kangaroo. And the ones I want are stuck with low. So yeah, I would maybe build it again one pillar higher. I went four high. Um, if you guys want to see tutorials on the stuff I build, just mention that in the comments. 
But as you can tell, I went four high. Maybe, no, actually I went five high on that if I remember correctly. Yeah, I went five high on this. And so, Yellows can't get me, but you can see that they clearly can hit me with their AoE. But it worked. We had a safe place to land, and we were able to drop our Yellows using the pin pad. I know you couldn't really see it because it's kind of in the rock, but it's there, trust me. All right, let's move on to our next one. Say you want to tame all these guys. Every single aloe that we have. Oh, I don't have them ready to spawn up more. All right, so we want to tame all the aloes that we got. Every single one. What I made was a behemoth gate. Now you're going to see this build again later on because it's very similar to a to a giga pen I want to build. Come on, close it. There we go. Yeah, this is easy enough. Now I've made a place where I can mass tame these guys. So I made in the comments below on the how to mailed an aloe taming trap pen. A guy asked me, what was his name? Let me look that up real fast. Connor Smith. Dude, thank you for asking this. I know this was over a month ago. But you asked me, what do you do if you have large groups of aloes? Like say your server's breaking and aloes are traveling in packs of like 20. It's not unheard of. Well, first off, I would try to separate them by flying around a flyer, try to get one or two of them distracted on something else, get the one you want. If that doesn't work, build the pen that I have showcased in that video, and then build a platform above it with a pin pad. If you can build something like this that's resource heavy, you can go the extra mile to build this little platform. I know the newer players aren't going to be able to do this. Well, that is unfortunate, but the reality is they don't have the time or the resources to devote to building stone materials and trying to get an allosaurus. They probably don't even have a pterodon. So this isn't until you actually are able to tame up an ally. Like, you have the ability to. You have the resources because they need a lot of stuff. And you can build all this structure. Like, you can build this into your base if you want to. Um, but as you can see, if you want to try to tame one and you got like maybe a pack of three or so and you only want to try to tame one, Try leading one in, land on the platform, close it off, and you have, hopefully, the aloe you want. I was able to get two, which is wonderful. Now, say you want to tame a whole pack of aloes. They're either all high level, or you just like the colors, or you just want to keep the pack together. Build this. It's one behemoth gate, and it is six dinosaur gateways, and it's built just like how I built my original trap. All I did was I added this, pl added this platform on the back side, and so once I flew in, I landed straight on the platform, and they all just wanted to attack me still. And then I closed the gate on them. There's like four or five... Okay, I'm stuck in my own gate. There's about four or five aloes in there. I mean, I don't know how many there really are, but there's quite a few. And at this point, if there was any stragglers that didn't make it into the pen, you could either have your trimates come and help you, or you could lead them away. Because how I built it is there is gate, uh, what are they? Dinosaur, not dinosaur, wow. Brain fart. Uh, <laughs> they are doorways in the dinosaur gateways. So it's just like the other pen. I could stand down here on the floor, on the earth, and start shooting away at each dino until they're all passed out and start taming them all. Allosaurs, thankfully, don't fly through their narcotics like some of the other dinos out there. But they do require narcotics. They will take about a stack. But yeah, hopefully this was very informative. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. You will see this build again, um, but a little bit different when it comes to how to make a Giga Taming Pit. I will make that as a video. Maybe actually I might do that next. I don't know. Well, anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it gave you ideas. I hope it helped. Uh, do me a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do you guys have any, like, desire to see any other type of video games out there? Do you have any desire to see me do any types of tutorials on ARC? Or make me, have me do other types of builds? Whatever you want. Down there in the comments. That's for you guys. Leave your suggestions. I'll be looking at them. I'll read every single comment that's posted. 
Um, go ahead and leave your suggestion there, and I will get to it. If it's something valuable that I think people might like to see, I will definitely do that. If it's something you just want to see, if I'm bored, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. But I'll definitely let you know. So please, down in the comments, leave your suggestions. Just say, hey, if you want to chat, that's awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.